so appropriate. <laughs> in the Dana, in this case, all right. It is. <laughs> Homeowners associations, for the most part, they work well the majority of the time, but when they don't, they can tear a community apart. The Fox 5 I team's data file heads to East Atlanta, where the price and construction of a gate laid bare a lot of tension. A, a lot gate? of t a gate is what blew this thing wide open, if you will. The Brighton Village community has learned a lot about how its property owners association works. Now, according to current and former board members, it had traditionally operated with a pretty open book policy, they say. But when that openness, they tell me, stopped, they did not find the law was necessarily on their side. This quiet DeKalb County neighborhood off of Flat Shoals Road is cozy with its bungalows, townhomes, and single family houses. But neighbors say their new homeowners association president has created tension. I've lived here 10 years. I've never seen anything like this. It could be a reality show. I'm exhausted. I'm tired and um, very frustrated. Many residents and some board members too also blame the property management group Sentry Management for the new ill will which has spilled into a recent meeting. Listen into this audio tape. Go, no. 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 As Sentry representative Karen Brown challenges board member Brianna Gage who has pushed back at how the community is being treated. No, no, please stop it. No, you stop. Do you want to see me outside, Brianna? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Board Treasurer Derek Montgomery was there. We're professionals, so we're not going to engage in a fist fight with the property manager who is on the clock and we're paying her to be there. So how did it get to this point? Well, it's this gate. It opened the eyes of the neighbors who were starting to understand they weren't feeling very good about the management of their community anymore. In fact, even the board's treasurer, the man in charge of the finances, says he no longer has a say in how the money is spent. The treasurer says Brighton Village shelved an $80,000 gate proposal because they didn't have the money. But then after new board leadership arrived, he says a gate was going up and the price was too. And then it went to $135,000. Alarmed, Montgomery sent a letter warning his neighbors no decision was voted on by the board. Well, neighbors chimed in wanting to know more. We want to see the contract. We want to see the financials. Fox 5 I team has tried to talk to board president Michael Pillow about the mounting tensions since he took the post. Hi, can we talk to you about the ill will between the board and some of the neighbors? They seem really upset. I'm sure they would love to hear something from you about how to calm this down. I mean, there just hasn't been a lot of uh, transparency. Residents say they were told the bylaws give the president a lot of power to make unilateral decisions. Fed up, they gathered signatures to call for new board elections, but they poured out of that packed meeting furious again. They humored us by giving us the meeting we had the right to, and then at the last moment threw it in our face that we needed half of the members, which is half of the homeowners, to vote that they want the board off in order to get anybody off the board. We thought we had the votes. Who could have been clearer with you about that? Uh, property management, the board themselves, our lawyer that we're paying to be in there right now. We tried to chat with Sentry Management, but they instead called the police on us. Hi, Karen. Can we chat with you? The community told me at that meeting to vote off the board that they finally just got fed up and asked the current members just step down. This is a volunteer position because they want to just start over. We were told one board member said, fine, I'll do it, but not the president. Okay, it seems like you're at an impasse. What happens yeah. now? Well, <laughs> the neighbors <laughs> say many of the board positions, including the president's, are about to expire, so they will hold new elections but they want all of that spending to be on hold until that happens. So we're gonna keep checking back. I would love to know how the story ends, yeah. I really would. Boy, it was, it, and it's a really neat community. You have elderly, young families, single people. I like that, yeah. yeah. Black, white, accountants, blue collar. It's it's beautiful everything. mix. It's yeah. a beautiful mix, and things had worked well so, for so long. They say so. They're really disappointed in this turn of events. Hope they get it right. That'd I do be nice. Too. All right, Dana. Too. Thank you.